So Chris and I have been vegan for about a month now and I have just been to Sainsbury's and I just wanted to really quickly show you this incredible haul that um, I've got from Sainsbury's. Now we live in Barnsley um, or near Barnsley just outside and so we've got a Tesco Extra in the next town along um, and we've also got uh, Morrison's, we've got Asda all in Barnsley. Uh, we've got another Tesco Extra as well um, and the other day um, you know, I was looking for spaghetti squash and I went everywhere. I went to Aldi, I went to um, Tesco, Morrison's, Asda, the other Tesco. Like I'm, I'm driving around looking for fruit and veg that you can just get in the, sh in the supermarket nearest to you down south. Um, you know, I haven't seen a dragon fruit in two years since we've lived here. So anyway, um, I've had a real difficulty and people have been suggesting going to Waitrose and I had a look on Waitrose and it wasn't it wasn't brilliant on their website we don't really have a waitrose near us and that's um i guess south yorkshire for you but um chris has gone out into leeds tonight so i thought well instead of just sitting at home doing nothing there's a massive sainsbury's in leeds why don't i just have a look online so i typed in our postcode went in to have a look for um uh corgetti found it on the website but when i typed in our postcode for delivery it disappeared when I typed in a Wakefield postcode, it reappeared. So basically, certain ingredients are a complete postcode lottery as to whether you can you can get them delivered or not. And I thought, well, actually, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go there. Um, so I was able to make um, Chris's journey into Leeds a little bit shorter, which was great. Took him in, um, and then went to Sainsbury's and just found this incredible haul. And you can't quite see it yet because of the camera angle. Um, but I'll save the best till last. So some of the basics are things like miso paste. So in the Tesco near us, we might be able to get this tiny little jar of miso paste every now and then if it's in. So I just tend to grab it when I've got it, but look how big this jar is. So that's, that's number one. Of course, there was the Corgetti. It's a shame it's wrapped in plastic. And yes, I know, but I've got the world's like, most basic spiralizer um, and it always, it always loses the core and it just creates loads of waste and loads of mess and it never really does what it says it's supposed to do. So. I'm just making my life a little bit easier at the moment and going for, for the shop bought Cordetti. So before you start on that one, um, <laughs> that, that's a decision I made recently. I also saw this Moroccan style grains. So Chris is probably going to have that. He doesn't know it yet, but he's probably going to have this for um, maybe lunch or dinner one day this week. Um, there were mozzarella style shreds. Now I've seen these on a plan that I'm on at the moment. I'll talk about that in another episode, but these mozzarella style shreds are just great for sprinkling on top. So, um, yeah, amazing. C couldn't believe that I found those. And while I was in the store, um, I searched the website for tempeh and seitan. Now, seitan just didn't come up at all. Tempeh did, and I thought, oh, I need to look in this store a bit harder. This is a massive store, and it had most of the stuff. So, it had this plant power, curry flavour tempeh pieces. And they said they also do a block and it was just an empty space next to these. So I know where I'm looking next time at least, but you can get tempeh blocks in Sainsbury's. Um, oh, what else to show you? Underneath those tempeh blocks were these seitan. So like bacon and chorizo flavour. So just the other day I was thinking, oh, that's one of those things I'm really going to miss is chorizo. And uh, yeah, I'm not anymore because we've got some. Um, look at these incredible cute little squashes so um they were with pumpkins and i just thought mm, i'm just gonna get them and i don't know which squashes they are i think that could be an acorn squash um and i'm not sure about this one but they just come under mixed squashes so it's just a mixed bag of whatever whatever ones they've got there and it looks a bit rude when you hold them but um so yeah mixed squashes i'm gonna make a soup out of these with a massive bag of carrots that we've got in the in the fridge um what else to show you? Um, vegan comfort food. Um, so I just got these. Um, yeah, I know they're completely wrapped in plastic. I was having a bit of a, a weak night. Six pulled jackfruit empanadas. So they're going to go in the freezer so that when I come off my plan, again, I'll talk about my plan in another one, but these are going to go in the freezer so that we're going to um, nom these either on a cheat day or um, when I'm off my plan. Uh, what else haven't I showed you? So this organic vegan block so this is from naturally um so it's just like i'm just going to use it just like butter um 
but it's shea, coconut, rapeseed and almond. So I'll be interested to know what that's like. So I just bought one. I didn't, I didn't stock up on this one. Um, but it lasts forever, so it'll just stay in the fridge. We normally use the sunflower spread, but um, yeah, it'd be interesting to see what this one's like if I don't throw it around the kitchen first. And the last thing that I really love, um, you know, like we we often see like jackfruit, pulled jackfruit, this pulled that, but check out this summer pride jackfruit in water. So <laughs> there were maybe ten tins on the shelf, and I took half of them. And I was talking to um, a woman in the refrigerator section, um, and I told her, and I told her like, I've taken half of them, so you need to go and get the other half. Um, so yeah, a really um, a really successful haul, and I just thought I would share it with you all because Sainsbury's in Wakefield is the best place to go for vegan food. Um, and the Sainsbury's I'm talking about, so there are two big Sainsbury's in Wakefield. The one I'm talking about is um, at the big the big shopping centre. I can't remember what it's called at the moment. It begins with a T, Trinity Walk.